Hi everyone, this is Sun Sun Mushi, um, and this is just a, a general reading, sort of check-in on the Twin Flame community, or anyone um, just in a sort of love type connection, <laughs> which is mostly everyone, I think, so anyone, welcome, if you're new to the channel, welcome, if you're not new to this channel, you know me or something. Welcome back. Nice to see you all hanging out with you guys. Um, I was inspired to make this video because I I got some nice <laughs> synchronicity. So I got an 11-11 and um, I've been thinking about my twin flame a lot lately and I've been missing him and all that stuff I guess. But yeah, I wanted to spread some positivity now. Um, and thank you all personally um, for being here and for all your donations. Um, it It's a really amazing feeling. Sorry, I'm just like looking for something to prop up my phone with. This is a one piece eraser. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, so I was about to do yoga. So I'm just heating up my room with a heater so it's warm enough for me. Um, and then I'm going to do my daily yoga and then probably do another kind of video. So this one's just going to be sort of a quick, which might become long, we'll see, <laughs> um, check-in video on Twin Flame. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know, but, oh, but real quick, um, if you'd like to get a reading or if you'd like to donate, um, or if you want to know any of my social media, uh, I've got all of that in the description below, um, and there's a video on my YouTube channel called, like, Thank You Offering Donation Readings or something. <laughs> um, but basically, if you watch that, I kind of, like, go in-depth of how I, like, offer the reading in case you, like, are curious, like, oh, how does the, like, the, the personal reading go? Um, so I have a whole video dedicated to that, and I'm thinking of doing those videos, like, once or twice a month, so another one of those will be up pretty soon. Um, but yeah, the, the thing I want to talk about was, I don't know if you guys know, but, um, I was missing the Ace of Swords card in this deck, so I had reset the deck, I split it up, swords, cups, wands, um, pentacles, and then the Major Arcana, and I was organizing it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have all the cards, but I'm missing Ace of Swords. So I kind of brought that up in some of my recent videos, if you guys know about that, in case you guys are wondering, I found it. And uh, how I found it was it just appeared back in the deck. <laughs> so I don't know where it came from. And I, I'm certain that it was missing because I had all the decks or all the cards laid out um, and all the things split up. And I put them all in order from, you know, starting from Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four, Five, Six, all the way to the, like the King of Wands or whatever, right? And I did that for all of them. So the swords grouping one was missing the ace of swords so I don't know how that happened but uh yeah sorry that took me a while so this is the check in on where you and your twin flame are at right now um I'm gonna do the headspace for you I'm gonna put a few things in your headspace and is a connected energy. So I'm going to be doing two for the headspace, two for the heart space. And uh, yeah, today I just have it facing me just because eh, I don't want to like um, set up over there right now just because it's supposed to be kind of a quick video. Headspace, heart space. 3D space, um, and then one sort of spirit message and another sort of spirit message. So your headspace at the moment perhaps is, ooh, the moon. So I guess you don't know where you're at with this twin flame connection, but you know that you're learning a lot. Um, that you're pretty committed to this connection. Um, so this is what your headspace is thinking about. You you know that you trust the connection, even though you don't know 
what's what's next. You don't know what's in store at this present moment. So today is the energy of don't know, <laughs> which okay, that makes sense. Um, their headspace is the Ten of Cups about this connection with the High Priestess. So they <laughs> they seem that they it seems that they do know um, at this present moment that you are their Ten of Cups, a kind of happy endings um, card, which the Hierophant is one of commitment, very similar in some aspects to Ten of Cups, kind of. Also pretty similar. The Hierophant with the Moon put together is kind of the same thing to me as the High Priestess. So it looks like you guys are kind of in a similar headspace. Um, it's kind of like you with the moon, you don't know um, what to do with your head space. Like logically you're not sure, perhaps reach out, perhaps not, um, give it more time, maybe not. But they seem to be thinking very well about this connection and feeling really good about it. Um, they seem to know stuff about it that they're not talking about with you. So you guys might not be in communication right now. Your heart space. Um, is the Ten of Pentacles. Woo! We get two tens! And you, so, yeah, your heart space, you definitely feel um, that connection with them. You definitely feel like you're in this together. Um, so, your guys' head space and heart space work really well together with those tens. <laughs> Um, this is another card of commitment. So, your mind, your heart, you pretty much know this is what you want. Um, they seem to know this is what they want too, so far. Your head, your heart space though, your heart space feels though that with your, if you were to, um, you feel it, that if you were to bring it up or communicate, that it's not going to result in what you want, which is the Ten of Pentacles. You feel it's going to result in a, um a bit of a loss where maybe the conversation doesn't go anywhere or um, you accidentally say a lot more than you meant to because you ha you just feel so much you have so much to say and so you say it but then it creates a loss um, or something like that or you just feel that now is not the time basically in your heart so even though yeah because you can't see and your mind can't see your heart feels something's a little off still, so... Oh, and we'll get... Sorry, maybe we should get into connective energies. I'll, I'll do that at the end. And so that's the energy I'm getting for your heart space. That you just kind of sense that if you were to reach out, um, whether or not you do it, it'll work out because you're going to find some sort of clarity through it. You're going to learn more lessons through it. It's right below the Hierophant, so lessons learned is going to come through that regardless. Their heart space... They also get the pentacles, the king of pentacles, wanting to, their heart feels, um, this wanting to give this stable sort of offer. It's like they want to invite you, um, whether it's like to their home or out to eat or something like that. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I like this. Ooh, two of swords. So their heart is... Similar to your heart. We, we get a match. Check this out. So we got the King of Pentacles, the Two of Swords for them. And then for, for us, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So lots of mirroring going on with this. Um, with the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, this to me means like even though they know um, sort of what they want, they're not saying anything. They're also indecisive. Their heart isn't sure if now is the time as well. So both of your hearts are not sure if it's the time. Both of your minds have certain knowledge that you're not sharing um, from uh, to one another. On our aspect, it's more like we don't know if, like, we can't see, um, like, what's coming next. And then our heart is like, we feel if we show up and say something that it might cause a loss. And then for them, it's like they know what they want for their next thing, which is the Ten of Cups. But their heart isn't sure um, when to do it, if, if they should do it. They don't, they don't, like, 
I think they know it's they're supposed to like they that they, they know both in their mind and their heart that they want to like do this. But with the two of swords being indecision fork in the road, it's like hard. It's really hard to make that choice um, at this present moment. So I'm gonna do the connective energies and then the three D space. So the three the connected head space is the lovers. Woo! So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I mean, this makes sense. It's a, this is a twin flame connection, but you know. And the connected heart space is ooh the four of cups. So you both know about this connection, but both of you, both of you have so much going on, so many feelings, but like yet um, this ship hasn't the ropes haven't been cut on this yet. You both have the swords. Um, to cut the rope, <laughs> that's a game, <laughs> it's an app, but um, I am seeing that with that connected heart space, that it's, this is some dangerous um, sword energy to cut the rope with, um, because the five of swords and the two of swords both add and subtract to the seven of swords or three of swords, both very painful energies. So connected, you guys get the four of cups which is like not super satisfied um not not together not not um going off on that next adventure yet so oddly enough it does seem like now ish um if i were to just give you guys general advice it seems like now ish is very much approaching a pretty good time to um, balance your heart and your mind with the energy of the lovers and to pretty much kind of start this up again so to speak so that seems to be coming it seems now there's still a bit more in your headspace you, I think you just you know even through the darkness that there's more to learn and since the other person is stuck in the two of swords we've been in the two of swords before I've been in the two of swords before when you have to make a decision eventually you do um, and so, pretty much, I'm hearing right now that the message is waiting for the right moment, which, oddly enough, is close to now, but I'm not sure if it is now. Um, so, your 3D space, what you are seeing, what you might be doing. Your 3D space is juggling two of pentacles. So your 3D space is working together and separate, and then... Um, working a lot with yourself kind of like doing a lot of stuff in your life so you you're busy you're kind of building up a foundation for yourself this is right below the ten of pentacles so the 3d spaces you are you are definitely working towards this in your heart space I think maybe what you're sensing and the moon above that is that if you were to go for this right now it might distract you from your work um, our work that we are still needing to get into the flow of that we are getting there but with the moon's energy it's like we don't know if this is like complete or not but we sense that there's more pretty much um lessons and abundance to learn for ourselves before um really going diving deep into this like connection the other card is the queen of pentacles um so in our 3d space is very much building, nurturing, and remembering. So the 3D space, what, what's happening is we're thinking a lot about them. We are kind of dreaming and, <laughs> and visualizing um, what it would be like to, to be in union, to be together sort of energy. And so they, what they are doing right now in their 3D space, judgment. So they are receiving a lot from the universe. They are receiving a lot from themselves I think they're forgiving themselves their um, judgment day um, as a lot of tarot readers say has come you know so a lot of your guys' twin flames they're all like hey you know like I think um, we're okay and so like with forgiving themselves with certain things and healing through certain things they're seeing that manifest into the 3d world so they're seeing a lot of really good stuff from that six of swords yeah moving on from a from um a previous mind battle in the mind 
and leaving that behind them and going to smoother waters, going out into the world with their mind, um, new headspace, new mind space. So this is a big shift. Um, I was sensing this. There was something days back where I, I was really sensing like my twin flame's possible pain and like stuff like that, and it was pretty intense and just like um, pretty quickly, like it just started feeling better. So I was like, wow. Something must have happened, and I think whatever that is, is is about this. So currently, 3D space, they have they have successfully healed and moved on from something, and they've received certain like gifts and rewards and and lessons within themselves, um, for themselves, and so that's pretty awesome. So I hope that made sense. Um, so yeah, that's the 3D space, and connected. This is gonna be interesting. Connected. This is the card that is basically the Six of Swords to me, leaving behind a previous mind space. So you're both doing this um, with theirs. It's a lot about um, it's a lot about the pain of the past and a lot about forgiveness. And for you, it's a lot about um, like putting putting a previous um, life of like um, feeling less abundance basically than um, than now I don't I don't know if that made sense basically it's like maybe before you were still working on um, planning for your abundance and so now you're leaving that mindset behind and setting the plans in motion this is a very like still and stuck energy so I see connectedly with your energy of this is that this is projecting itself forward you're ascending with this you're not staying stuck in the two of pentacles you're going forward and closer to the ten of pentacles so connectedly you're both doing this so to me this says um, the connective energy says that you're both ready is what I get but um, yeah, and in your heart space that you're both, this is the four of cups, the one where there's that, like, person, they're, like, looking down, there's three cups and they're sad, and there's one cup being held in front of them, but they're not looking at it, you know, an, an opportunity that you're not seeing, this is that heart space connective energy, you're both not, um, pursuing one another at this time, um, because separately, you both have your own challenges with your thoughts in your heart space. Your challenge is the Five of Swords, where it's like, you're worried if you say something, you might somehow create a loss. They're worried that they're not going to be able to be decisive, make a decision. It's like, kind of scary, because it's like, wow, they like, moved on from so much, and they like, they, you know, they feel so strongly about you, they know this, they really, really know it, like, as the High Priestess. So like, it's scary, they're like, what if what if we're too afraid in the end? What if we can't make the decision to to do this? Um, so let's see what the spirit type of message is for you. This is the self-love, share love card. This is the one um, to me where it's like you care for yourself and you're so open with yourself that you... Um, Pretty much just do whatever you want because you know it's coming from a place of love. The Princess of Swords, sorry, Princess of Cups, same with the Princess of Swords, um, doesn't care really about this Five of Swords. The, the part they care about with that is that someone might get hurt. You don't want anyone to get hurt, of course. But this being who you are, I feel like Spirit is saying that you're not going to really hurt anyone. Yet yeah, I think those are just more of your fears. I think this is the real issue with the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords, that th these are mostly just fears, um, and, and that, that's part of what causes the conflict. Conflict always becomes resolution, though. Um, and two more cards. The Chariot and the Two of Cups. So, just move forward into this. You're both moving forward into Union. Um, that is what's kind of going on. I think with this type of energy, waiting is probably good for for us because we already feel this connection there's already so much going on um, that ask yourself if reaching out 
um, is truly what you want at this time. Not like, I mean it is, but like, what, but what you need at this time. Focus on what you need um, for healing um, for yourself. Like, the best way you can share your love. The, the best way to do this, Spirit is saying, is to not have fear. So, the moment you don't have fear, the, the moment you release fears, is the same moment that um, you can go ahead and show up and, like, ride the waves and spread your love, your, your energy in this connection. So, that's kind of like the Spirit Messages. Their Spirit Messages is the Wheel of Fortune that... They still need to break this sort of cycle. Um, Spirit is saying they got to do something different. So basically, whether you reach out, whether they reach out, it's always going to be the Five of Swords. It's always going to be the Two of Swords. Um, it's always going to result in a loss because they are still on this wheel. For them, it's always going to be a loss because they're still on this wheel, you know. You know both of you, that's what creates the Five of Swords that... There is still a, a sensation of not being ready, but it's not about you or the other person. Rather, it's about fate. It's about destiny. You both feel it. You both feel there's still something more for yourselves to be doing at this present moment. So, Spirit, um, what is some advice on action to take at this moment, not at a later moment? What is some advice? Um... We get the Ten of Swords. It came out very, very clearly. And I did mention in a recent video to someone that if I saw Ten of Swords, I was going to see that as an Ace of Swords. So this is about the, the cycle complete. <laughs> the ball is in their court. They gotta. They still have to cycle this energy out. Until they can do that, um, yeah, there's more healing that is going to be going on from the Emperor's side, from Divine Masculine's side, from... Um, our sort of divine counterparts side, and so then, then a new journey takes off. So basically, the overall message I'm getting is lots of good work going on between you guys. Keep it up. And the other message is now is probably not the time. <gasps> um, that more healing needs to be done. That they're still cycling out this pain. They've, in the three, they've done a really good job of that. They really have, um, but in their heart, there's still a little bit of this left. There's st well, a little bit is still a lot, you know. There's still a lot of pain, um, but they've found a way to release it in a healthy way in the 3D space, in the physical world. So that's really good. Um, and then, again, this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is a cycle that once you've experienced everything you need to on this wheel... Once you've done this wheel a bunch of times, then you can step off. The wheel kind of breaks, turns into, like, experience, like, glitter, and, like, you absorb it, and you're, like, you just get all the positive experience from it. So, they still need to step off the wheel. You just gotta keep focusing on yourself, pretty much, <laughs> as the Princess of Cups, uh, the Page of Cups. Yeah. And, and, in the future energy... Future energy sure seems to be a new journey. Seems to be the Two of Cups. Seems to be the Chariot determined for the Two of Cups, for the Union, in the 3D. That's what I get with the Fool's card. I'm seeing you guys are in Union spiritually, of course. But you guys will be in Union with Determination in the physical world as well. So, hope these messages resonate with you guys. Um... Keep on having faith and believing in yourselves and the journey. And the, I don't think the journey is supposed to feel like torture. So if any of you think um, that this might be torture, then then I don't know. Then, then, <laughs> then, then there's more healing to do. Uh, but, but, like what I'm trying to say is like you don't have to... Um, with the Hierophant, and, and the Hierophant being about commitment, you don't have to be in this connection. You can step away, um, and then maybe you learn in the future, actually, you do want this connection, or maybe you don't want it, or maybe this, or maybe that. But basically, if, um, 
kind of like you know you you, you got to decide on what you're committing to and once you can do that then the journey becomes a lot easier because with that um, you know the question is then like well what if I just wait for forever what if we end up waiting for 80 million years I feel like if we waited for 80 million years at that point then the person who should have figured out to move on was us you know it's like I right now I am willing to wait that long I think if in the future if that caused me pain and wasn't good for me I think I would probably heal grow move on from that still have that share that connection with my twin flame and and like you know take on a path that that is for me but so long as this feels like the path you're meant to be on keep believing in the connection if it changes in the future it changes in the future but right now this is the energy um, if you were resonating with that it sure seems like things are pretty good um, I only mentioned this just because um, I don't know I have I have a dear friend who where I don't know it like I hang out with a lot um, I'm just trying to leave it anonymous but basically I just learned that um, even though we're all on this twin flame journey that it can still be hard to want to be on it um, and to like do it and stuff but I feel like um, the more on board and committed and like stuff like that the the better it works out and like the whole challenge behind that is like you know like what if you're doing that and you're sad or you're lonely or this or that but like the whole point of being in a relationship just in general not even just like with your twin flame but just in general is so that you're not lonely by yourself is so that you do feel good by yourself and then that you can then share that love that you have for yourself with another so to me being able to commit to my twin flame to your guys' twin flame um, that is the same thing as like being happy and like um, like being able to do this and stuff and like if I stepped out of that because it's like oh but I, I need this you know then like whoever I ended up with that I pursue it by my eyes doesn't is not fair because that means I'm pursuing someone out of lonely uh, loneliness pursuing someone out of um, my own sorrow or like my own lack and it's like so it really goes together so I think the day you know if you should wait on your twin flame or not which uh, to me is the day if um, you learn you're totally good on your own now and you're like you know I've done everything that I, I need to for myself I see it now I can live my life solo with this connection for eternity great I have everything I need now like super happy super great all that stuff but I want a family I do want this I do want that um, you know I do want to have a, a person to be very intimate physically with not just spiritually and then like and commit to and blah 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 and it's like at that point I think it'll be I think your twin flame will be there or they won't be there you know it's like climb the mountain first before you decide if you're like not um, like don't quit five minutes before the miracle I don't know all sorts of this stuff where it's like I don't know it's like tricky because I know like a lot of it is like wanting to be with someone right now sort of thing but but hmm I don't know how to put it but it's just kind of like if you are on a twin flame journey then it's like yeah it's like why not just wait forever you know like what what is like people make it sound like waiting forever sounds really bad <laughs> but like to me it sounds pretty good like I don't know and that if it ever sounds like if I if I do that and I do everything I need to do on my journey and it doesn't come together then I'm not gonna regret all that time of waiting all that time of waiting clearly I still needed that time to figure things out to still heal 
to still learn, all that sort of stuff. Um, but for me, it just so happens that I'm pretty confident <laughs> with this journey and, and like what, um, how I feel about it and stuff. And while I do have like, I guess you could call it an expectation, I also have the understanding that, you know, if, um, if things didn't work out or if like, maybe I'm like, like wrong about this or like maybe, maybe, um, my twin flame will, will always be stuck in the two swords. They just can't get out of that wheel of fortune, even though we're all moving forward. So like, really, that doesn't make sense. But like, just, just hypothetically, if they just couldn't, couldn't get through, um, the lessons they needed to get through, um, and they just couldn't talk to me or something. I think I would feel that energy. I think I would pick that up. I think spirit would give me enough messages and be like, hey, you know, you learned everything there was in this chapter book to learn. Um, so yeah, but I'm just gonna trust spirit. I'm gonna trust myself and the way I feel and I trust in all of you guys and all of life and, and everything and energy. So for me, I feel like Um, there's just certain things you've got to learn for yourselves if you have certain, um, like, doubts and fears, or if it's like, why wait on this connection? If you're wondering why wait on this connection, perhaps don't wait then and pursue another connection. But if you've done that and it didn't work out other times, um, catch on perhaps that those might be karmic cycles that there might be certain things to learn about it um, that um, that teach more about I guess commitment I don't know um, and it's so hard for me to like verbalize this and like put it in a way that like can like in a concise way but this has a lot to do just like with my own, wow, 32 minutes. <laughs> this just has to do with my own experiences of just like, I don't know, I'm doing this. Um, so if you guys are wondering like, oh, San San Mashi, but like you, like you have an experience where like you wait and you wait or you have faith and you have faith and people let you down or people break your heart or people betray you or this or that. But it's actually on the contrary. It's like I've experienced so much of that that I learned that it was worth it every single time. I I learned the perspective of those people who did certain things, said certain things, um, and all that sort of stuff, or thought about me in certain ways. Um, I just kind of learned like those are just perspectives and like had they had my experiences of course they would have done things differently you know they would have said things differently they would have thought about me differently they would have felt about me differently stuff like that and it's like no matter who you could point out to me I still see there's that we're all in this together that anyone doing something kind of terrible <laughs> or putting a sword in you like in your heart creating the three of swords you know um, these are all energies that we ourselves didn't deserve to have to experience. We deserve, um, the best for ourselves and to, to have love instead. Um, and so the people who put the swords in us in the first place, they also deserve to be pretty much forgiven, not in the sense that what they did was okay, but just in the sense that, um, once they learn enough lessons or go through enough lifetimes that they will be different, you know, they, they will see things differently, um, and things like that. And ultimately we are all one. So there's no point in holding any ill will towards literally anybody, but it can be really hard. And I still struggle with it, you know, like, um, people every once in a while or people in my close life are it's just like, how do I get past this? Like, <laughs> um, especially when it's family, you know, you're just like, this is family, but it doesn't feel like family. How do you, how do you move through that? You know, lots of challenges like that, but yeah, I'm, rum I'm mumbling or rambling, whatever it's called. 
Um, this is your Twin Flame check-in. Whoops, sorry. I, I probably should have ended the video a while ago. Um, but if you guys stuck around for these messages, cool. Um, this is just my opinion. This is just kind of some stuff I've got to say for anyone who might benefit from hearing this. I'm not trying to um, make it seem like anything. Basically, like, this could just resonate with none of you guys, you know? Maybe all of you guys didn't need to hear any of these messages, but but basically, in case someone, um, in case some of you, like, might appreciate these messages or benefit from these messages, um, I just wanted to kind of share that just because, not, not even because of, um, YouTube channel, but because of my own 3D space, my life of people close with me and seeing sort of their outlet and their perspective, and this is kind of the stuff that I uh, say to them um, that I learned that uh, was kind of stuff that they may benefit from. So I realize perhaps um, you guys out there on YouTube listening to this might also benefit from this. So yeah, I'm not trying to lecture anyone, basically, um, but rather just share my experiences. Okay, I'm going to do yoga now. <laughs> I'm going to let this upload while I do yoga. Lots of love and light. Um, it's 11, 12 a.m., so it was just 11, 11, so that's cool. That's a big signifier that I really should just stop recording now. So I'll talk to you all soon. Hope this message... Um, is a good one. Peace out.